Hello and welcome to Roots to Sprouts. You all know that we have been doing this series called Know Your Bugs and this is the fourth episode and I am going to talk about moth. They look very similar to butterflies but there are some basic differences you should be aware of. And let's see what are the pros and cons of moth. These are few clips that I shooted from our garden. There are approximately 160,000 species of moths. This particular moth is called garden carpet moth. The color and the texture of this moth is very similar to a carpet. This one is called black rustic moth. Very similar to butterfly. The only difference that I can make it is the structure of the body. Butterfly's bodies are very thin compared to moth. And the body is very feathery as you can see in this video. Apart from body, you can also differentiate a moth by its antenna. Looking at the antenna closely, you can see it is feathery and it doesn't have a ball at the end. This one is called skipper. Skippers are considered an intermediate form between butterflies and moth. The head and small, stout body of the adult tend to resemble those of a moth. However, when at rest, most skippers hold the first pair of wings vertically as butterflies do. The next variety of moth is called Crambit Snout Moth. They are in all different colors. The one who visited my garden, it's actually pink in color and it has a very silky texture on the top. And this was actually on a mint flower and it is trying to take the nectar from the flowers. If you can see a closer look, the wings has a silky texture as I mentioned earlier. What do you think about moth? Are they good or bad for your garden? Let's talk about that. Moth caterpillars have a great impact on plants by eating the leaves. But moths are benefit plants by pollinating flowers while feeding on their nectar and so helps in seed production. I hope this episode was informative and helpful. We'll talk to you in the next episode of Know Your Bug. Thank you.